She's not scared of you anymore. I gotta cut off this pillow because I feel like I might cry. Hey guys, so today we're going to be watching Monsters Inc. I haven't watched like a Disney or Pixar film in a while. I haven't seen this movie <laughs> since I was probably a teenager. Yeah, probably like over 10 years ago was the last time I watched this. But my brain is a vault for Disney and Pixar quotes. So most likely I'm going to remember quotes from this movie. But um, I don't really remember much from it in regards to how events occur. So it should be fun to rewatch this to refresh my mind. I wasn't sure which Pixar film to watch. I was kind of like tossing up. And so I went on to Instagram and I did Monsters Inc. Mo Monsters Inc. versus Finding Nemo. And you guys voted for Monsters Inc. So I was like, okay, that's the one I'm going to watch then. Okay, well, I guess let's just jump straight into this movie. I'm really excited because Disney and Pixar, if they're not like sad moments, then I'm always in a happy mood watching them. There are pretty depressing moments in Disney and Pixar films though. So I can't remember if I get sad. <gasps> but Boo's in this. Oh, oh, I, f I forgot about Boo and her little alien costume. Oh, okay. I'm even more excited to watch this now. <laughs> oh, I like this jazz music. Randy Newman, is that his name? Does the music? He did Toy Story, didn't he? Does he do the music for this too? It sounds so similar. I feel like it's him. Tell me if you think I should do more Disney Pixar because I occasionally do them because they're like throwbacks to my favorite movies and and stuff and they can be actually refreshing rewatches because most of them I haven't seen since I was like a child. I want to watch Little Mermaid again because I haven't seen that in <laughs> ages. I feel like I'm going to be looking for Easter eggs because there's always so many Easter eggs in like every Disney and Pixar film. I remember when I watched this, oh, I was so scared. I, oh, oh, I was so scared during this scene the first time I watched it. Well, pretty much every time I watch it. Never look under your bed. Never look under your bed. Oh, oh my God. Which monster is this? Our city is counting on you to collect those children's screams. Without scream, we have no power. This is like super similar to like Matrix because Matrix uses like human bodies to power them like batteries. Like machines use that to power them. Monster Zinc use kids screams to power their electricity. I feel like I'm reaching. That's a super, that's, that's really reaching. Nikki, what are you doing? That's, that's a far, far reach. <laughs> Trying to connect Monsters, Inc. and, and the Matrix? Doubt it. Oh, the hair, the hair. Sully's, the, the amount of rendering and I couldn't imagine every single frame. I love the design, the design of all of the monsters is just so on point. Like the amount of creativity, Jesus, Disney people, like their brains, their bloody brains. I couldn't come up with this shit. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God, they covered him up. Oh, poor Mike. Billy Crystal and John Goodman. Prime, just voice acting gold in this movie. Their chemistry, Ah, oh, living for this. They are so good together. I can't even imagine anyone else voicing Mike and Sully. I can't. Ooh, okay, Sully, hop on in. Nope. Uh -uh. Hey, 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 uh -uh. hey, 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 where you going? Mikey, what are you there's doing? a scream shortage. We're walking. No, be good to the environment. Be good to our environment. Dude, <laughs> what a building. <laughs> Australia. Oh, we've kind of been cut off. The East Coast. Was Melbourne cut out of there? Disappointed. Why? Make him lose, lose his focus. focus. Oh no! Sorry! Shut, Shut up! Monsters <laughs> Inc. He's Hulk. Monsters Inc. Happy birthday. Oh, googly woogly, you remembered! Her snake hair. It seems like each of them have their own consciousness. So when they're together, are the snakes like conscious of what is going on and what they're doing? Because when she reacts a certain way, they all react a certain way. <laughs> that feels a bit weird that they're... That design... Wouldn't that be awkward for their relationship? 
I'm in the zone today, Sullivan. Gonna be doing some serious scaring, putting up some big numbers. Randall is so good, like, design as an antagonist. His whole physicality matches his personality and his role in the movie so perfect. Roz! Wazowski, <laughs> you didn't file your paperwork last night. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. The jazz. Yes, I love this music. What an amazing score. Underrated. So underrated. I definitely wouldn't be the scarer. I would so be like the partner. I would be so bad at trying to scare kids. I'd just start laughing or freak myself out. Like I'm such a scaredy cat. Tasmania is missing. Oh my God, Tasmania is missing in the Australian map. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Tassie. <laughs> Oh my god! The sky! The sky! Isn't that the, the wall? Isn't that the wall in Andy's room? Wasn't- isn't the clouds the blue with the clouds from Andy's room? Is that our first- first easter egg? I feel like there's gonna be so many easter eggs. It's actually kind of a bit messed up. The way the city is powered is by freaking kids out and making them scream. Some of them would be mentally scarred for life. We've lost 58 doors this week, sir. Oh, kids these days. They just don't get scared like they used to. That's because so many scary movies are so predictable. But then there's some good ones out there, definitely. I wouldn't be scared of that at all. I'd be like, what the fuck? I'd start laughing my ass off. I'm on a roll today. George and I are like brothers. <laughs> 2319! We have a 2319! Do you reckon 2319 stands for something? What does 2319 stand for? Oh, what a cute sock. It's got little flowers on it and everything. I'm right there, Sully. The pink copies go to accounting, the future ones go to purchasing, and the goldenrod ones go to Roz. <gasps> Leave the puce! I swear, you'll say to someone, the pink ones are for this, the future ones are for that, and most likely people will be like, they're both pink. Fuchsia is a combination of pink and purple. There is a difference between pink and there's so many different shades of pink. Color is so... I don't know where I'm going with this point. <gasps> there's the there's the Pixar Disney ball. The, the Pixar the Pixar ball, the blue and yellow with the star on it. I swear it probably has a name and I feel like I should know this name but I, d I don't know the name. Where's Boo? Boo? Where's Boo? <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna clog the shit out of those pipes. If something is clogged, don't flush it again and again and again. Worst idea ever. Oh my god, she's the cutest thing ever. She's, <laughs> she's so adorable. I love the combination of the teal and lilac. Because you would think like Sally being a monster, you know, you're meant to have like more harsh colours. But a lot of the characters have like more pastel, pastel tones to their fur or hair or their skin. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that because it makes like it sort of softens them. Ew, I love sushi, but eyeballs. Ew, ew, not eyeballs. Your hair was shorter then. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about getting it cut. No, no, I, I like it this length. Wait, 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 wait. Would she be decapitating all five, six of them? Literally cut their heads off, the snake's heads off? Decapitate them? Well, a kid flew right over me and blasted a car with its laser vision. I tried to run from it, but it picked me up with its mind powers and shook me like a doll. Imagine if we had those abilities. I would love those abilities. That would be awesome. What are the DVDs? What are the D Oh, I feel like I should pause that to look at the DVDs because there's probably movies that we know. Oh my God, don't sneeze. <laughs> do not sneeze or cough on people. Do not do that. You like this? Fetch. <laughs> be a dog, fetch. Oh my God, her eyes. I am just going to be like, oh my God this whole movie because Boo is so cute. That is such a meme. Oh my god, that is such a meme. I have used that on my Twitter. <laughs> you 
go to sleep. I wish it was that easy, but apparently not. I wish I could fall asleep that quickly. Life would be so much easier. Just think about a few names, will you? Loch Ness, Bigfoot, the Abominable Snowman. They all got one thing in common, pal. Banishment! We could be next! Oh my god, imagine if they showed Bigfoot from the Goofy movie in this movie. Imagine. That would be like the ultimate Easter egg for me. <laughs> this is the men's room. That is the weirdest thing you have ever said. It's fine. It's okay. Look, it loves it here. It's dancing with joy. Mm, no. I got pee. I got pee. Hello? <laughs> what, he thought that the toys and stuff wouldn't flush down the toilet, but she would? She's small, but I don't think she's that small. Hey, what's the matter? I already told your buddies I haven't seen any. Don't cry, boo. Oh, ew, gross. Like, I mean, being invisible, oh, well, like blending like a chameleon into your environment would be cool, but also it's not the best power you could ever have. He literally has three eyes. How does he not have good peripheral vision? He has three eyes. How did he not see left? Well, he has glasses, so he probably has shitty eyesight. That's Mike Wazowski, care of 22. Mike Wazowski, you got your life back lane. Kalkakowski. Kalkakowski. You're not supposed to name it. Once you name it, you start getting attached to it. It is so true. Once you give something a name, like a pet, Total attachment. Oh. Last night was one of the worst nights of my entire life, bar none. <laughs> we will rock you. Where is it? So, that's a cube of garbage. She is a cube of garbage. Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski. Oh. Step aside, kid. We're <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. So he wasn't last night when he took the things in. He wasn't trying to get more scares. He was actually going to take her. Was he going to steal her? Was he going to steal Boo? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Yes, I love secret doors. Secret doors. Secret doors are the best in movies. Wait, is there a twist? I've forgotten what this is. What is this? Honestly, I don't remember this. Things that are moving towards me. No, come on. What the fuck? Where is he? Whoa. They have some big ass lips. Does it actually kill a child? Like it sucks all the screams out. Like it literally sucks the life out of him. Oh my God. Holy shit. Why is this making me cry? Why is this making me tear up? Oh my God, the music. Oh my God, it's the music. It's the music. It's the music. All you had to do was listen to me. Just what? But you did, did you? Mike is so entitled to be angry at Sully right now. Big jerk. Ruined my life. And for what? A stupid kid. Because mm -hmm. of you, I am now stuck in this frozen wasteland. Mm-hmm. Uh, yak's milk. Milking a yak ain't exactly a picnic. But you know, once you pick the hairs out, it's very nutritious. <sighs> plays him. Oh, he's the underminer. He's Ham from Toy Story. He's in Wally. -E. Far out. He's in Coco. Finding Dory. Inside Out. Oh my God. He has voiced so many people. Okay. That's, that's no good. Great. So now the truth comes out, doesn't it? Oh my God, Sully. What the fuck? Sully is the worst friend. What about me? He is ditching Mike. I'm your pal. I'm, I'm, I'm your best friend. Oh my god. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it happened. If, if, if you want to go out there and freeze to death, you be my guest. Be how guests be our guests. Something, something, 
something something. I don't know all the lyrics to that song. That's the one song that I don't really know many lyrics to. I cannot believe that Sully is picking Boo over Mike. Mike has been your best friend, not since primary school, since university. That's actually kind of a plot hole because in they say in Monsters University is where they met, but they reference in here that they've known each other since like fourth grade or something. He ditched him. What an asshole. I can't. I can't deal with Sully right now. He has left him on Mount Everest. He has left his life, everything. This is all your fault. Sully is to blame for everything in this movie. His priorities, he's just chucked his friendship out the window. Daddy. It is like a torture device. What the fuck? You don't know how long I've wanted to do that, Sullivan. <laughs> Oh, that echo. Oh, love that. I was just mad, that's all. I needed some time to think. But you shouldn't have left me out there. No, no, you shouldn't have left him out there. Do not forgive him. Are you just going to forget? forgive him like that? Seriously? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Attention, employees. Randall Bach has just broken the all-time scare record. Yes, silly uh. Yes, silly uh. Badass bitch. They should have said... What is it? Something something 16, 32, 16, 24, 16. What is the code again? She should have said that over the over the speaker. And the CDA would be like, bam. Get him. Get Randall. Whoa, that is like the biggest library. That looks like a fucking badass, huge ass library. Is this like a ride in Disney World? Disneyland, Disney World. Is this a ride? This should so be a bloody ride. From far away, that looks like a whole heap of like iPhone cases hanging on a display. It just looks like a whole heap of different iPhone background cases. Long live the king. Long live the king. Come on, boo. Come on, boo. Yeah, boo. Come on, boo. She's not scared of you anymore. Is that Nemo? That's Nemo! That was Nemo on the wall! That was Nemo on the wall. It's the van! Pizza Planet! Pizza Planet van! Pizza Planet van! Pizza Planet! Is that the kid or the guy that drives the Pizza Planet van? Oh my god, awesome. Come on, don't let them get away! What? Wait, wait, come back! He has a child! Oh, he is so creepy. Oh my god, he is bloody creepy. With his crawly leggy thing. Oh. Stay where you are. Number one wants to talk to you. Attention. Yes, Roz. She is queen. Queen. Bring me a door shredder. What? You mean... You mean I can't see her again? That's the way it has to be. Oh, I don't... Oh, oh... Am I gonna cry? Oh, oh. Wait, which pillow do I want? Maybe this one. I gotta I got all this pillow because I feel like I might cry. Oh my god! It's um Jessie! It's Jessie from Toy Story 2! There, she's on the table! She's on the table! Nemo again! Nemo! Was that the Easter egg because Nemo's after this? Was Nemo after this or before? I have a feeling it's after. Is that the hint at Funny Nemo? Cause you know how they always leave an Easter egg for the next Pixar movie that's gonna happen? Oh, her little hands. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> One sec, I have Kleenex tissues. That is so heartbreaking. That is one of the saddest moments in any Pixar film. I need to watch Up again. Isn't the opening scene really depressing or sad or cry-worthy? I've only seen that once. Where are you from? <laughs> this kid is not impressed. Yeah, I was the fastest one out there. Of course, I was the ball, but I, I was the ball. Well, boo, boo. Oh, boo, boo, leave me. Come here, you. Shmoopsie-boo! Wait, so they're all girls? 
They're all girls and they're all kissing him. Oh. I'm on the cover of a magazine. There's still no Tasmania in the Australia map. Oh my God, how is there no Tasmania? Maybe everyone ignores the fact that Tasmania exists in Australia. <laughs> I feel like Tassie is so disconnected from Australia as a state. Anyone watching this, let me know if you're from Tassie. Sorry it took so long, pal. It was a lot of wood to go through. But you know, it only works if you have every piece. Why is this making me cry? <laughs> mm -hmm. Kitty. Why did I have to cry? I swear. So many movies make me cry, guys. <laughs> you guys know that. Pixar, genius. Disney, genius. They create such amazing films that are so heartfelt, that are technically made for kids, technically, but majority of the time, they are so watchable and lovable for anyone of any age. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Monsters Inc. definitely isn't my favorite Pixar film. I feel like I need to re-watch them because majority of Pixar films, I actually have only seen maybe once or twice, most of them. The ones that I usually have watched multiple times are actually like classic Disney, like Tarzan, Hercules, Mulan, you know, those sorts of ones, are uh, ones that I've seen a lot, a lot. And like, I can just quote the whole film. 2001, holy shit, I was eight when this came out. Whoa, 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 uh, that was even longer than I thought it was. Okay, so, we're in 2020, so what, 19 years ago? 19? Well, the animation, yes, you can see how it has aged. It hasn't held up 100%, but certain aspects of it are absolutely amazing. Like, when it comes to the processing and the rendering of Sully's hair, every single frame, are you kidding me? I'm the, imagining the amount of time that they would spend. It would be thousands and thousands of individual strands of hair on Sully. Like, that's insane. The design of the monsters and the creatures is great. They all have, like, their own individual look and voice and personalities. They're just so lovable. Boo is so cute and adorable and her and her little outfit is just, oh, I love her laugh and everything. Antagonist Randall and Mr. Waternoose, that's his name, right? Perfect. Like, Voice acting, great as antagonist. Like Steve Buscemi as Randall. Come on, come on. He just nailed it. I love the whole aesthetic of this movie. It looks beautiful. The music just like takes it to another level. You guys know if you've watched my videos before that music is so important to me and can totally change an entire film. If there's shitty music, like a shitty score or a piece of music playing, it will take me out of the scene so much. But if there is amazing music that pulls on your heartstrings and really pulls on those emotions, it just hits it so much harder. And this movie was just so perfect. That put me in a good mood, but also kind of in a depressing mood, but it's a good ending that Boo and Kitty, Sully got to see each other again. There was a time in the movie where I was like, shit, Sully, you're a piece of shit. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to Mike? That's so rude. He's your best friend. What are you doing? But you know, they're friends again. It's back to normal. He got to see Boo and it was a bittersweet ending and just adorable. So let me know your thoughts on Monsters, Inc. If you love it if Pixar is one of your favorite production companies, what your favorite Pixar film is. There's so many of them. There's so many great ones. They're like they're solid movies, majority of them. I actually haven't seen all of them. I think there are a few that I haven't seen yet. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.